Alright, so recently I soloed every Act 6 boss with Hawkeye, and I'm very proud of it, and the support on it has been absolutely incredible, so I'm very thankful. And I thought I would just make this video today to just to just go through every boss and explain what synergies were needed and which ones I just like chose to use, because I'm gonna be honest, anyone can do this, like... I would call myself a very good Hawkeye player, but even with just a little bit of practice, I think anyone can replicate this. And surprisingly enough, there are some fights that I just believe Hawkeye is the best counter for, or at least one of the best counters for. And that's what I love so much about Hawkeye, because he works for so much, but unlike those other characters similar to him, where they're not the best for anything... He is actually the best for some fights. And this is just like in general, like not just Act 6. Like Act 7, I can think of some fights where he's just like the best for. In War, oh man, I cannot wait to show, to show y'all the War vids. He is busted in War. I am really looking forward to that. But uh, going back on topic, I just want to show you what synergies I needed and just like explain why i brought them of course because i didn't really do that in my video my recent video i just like showed the fights themselves so i feel like if some new player were to come across it they'd be like oh how did hawkeye do this like what synergies were needed and that's what this video is for so let's get started but first i thought i would go over like what each synergy does specifically uh so let's just get started real quick the nick fury synergy it makes hawkeye immune to poison uh against non-mutants and this is this includes like the recoil mastery poison just any poison he is immune to uh i use this a ton because i was running the recoil masteries for all of the bosses except for one so yeah really useful synergy not needed except for very few fights that i will specify and then next up we have the tiger synergy uh which turns his bleed arrows into poison arrows very very strong synergy in general uh and it did come in use for one specific boss that i will mention and next up we have the hercules synergy so this synergy allows you to gain a fury buff every time you power drain over a a like a power threshold uh to 20 percent fury for 20 seconds very strong uh especially once you get like three stacks of them which is pretty easy to do and yeah it makes his power control rotation it makes it so good it's so powerful with the hercules synergy and then next up we have the dark hawk synergy i use this synergy for almost every boss it's not needed at all except for like one boss but it's so good to have just in general um it's a pretty big damage increase, I would say. Like, 40% damaging debuff increase is crazy for Hawkeye, especially the crit bleeds. It just, it really helps a ton, but it's not needed for anything. And then we have the Diablo synergy that it allows you to pause your slow debuffs. It's pretty cool. I didn't use that at all in this run, but just in general, it's really nice to have. And yeah, I think that about covers every synergy. So first up, we have the Sabertooth boss. Uh, nothing special at all. You don't need any synergies. I just brought some attack ones to make the fight go by faster. And then we have Ultron. Ultron is quite a tough boss. Um, the shock damage kind of gets out of hand. So that's why I brought Odin. I really suggest Odin, but he's not needed at all. Uh, I think Hawkeye can still solo the fight. I'm not too sure. But if you're using like a low rank Hawkeye, I really suggest bringing Odin. And Hercules adds a lot of damage too. So if you want to, you can bring him. But Hawkeye doesn't need Hercules for the fight. And overall, Hawkeye is like a hard counter to this Ultron. He has slow and he has amazing power control. So like the both, like both of those things you really need for this fight. So yeah, great counter and just a great fight for Hawkeye. And then we have Ghost. Uh, Ghost is just like a joke of a fight. <laughs> it's just like a... You can just have fun with this damage there. You don't need anything at all. Uh, Loki, same thing. It's just a damage fight. You don't need anything at all. 
Uh, you can bring white magneto to just like bypass the limber, but it's not needed. And then we have crossbones. So you can bring Nick Fury for the poison immunity. That's what I did, and I really suggest it. But without Nick Fury, you'll just take a lot of poison damage, but with willpower, you'll survive. So, I mean, you can just, if you want to, you can go without Nick Fury, but just be wary that you're going to lose a lot of health at the beginning of the fight. And also, I kind of suggest Hercules because Hawkeye cheese his power struggle. Like, the power control paired with power struggle is just crazy. I really suggest you bring Hercules. It just adds a ton of damage. Mainly because crossbones will be shrugging your bleeds all the time. And then we have Sentinel. Oh my gosh. I almost fell asleep like three times in that one Sentinel fight. It's beyond boring. Just bring as much attack as possible. Uh, yeah, really boring fight. <laughs> and then moving on to 6.2, we have Symbiote Supreme. So this is really just like a damage check. Just don't bring Hercules uh, because you'll get a lot of buffs there and Sim will just eat them. But other than that, a really straightforward fight. A really simple uh, just showcase of Hawkeye's damage. And then we have Mr. Sinister. So this one was kind of rough. But it was my favorite fight by far. I loved this fight so much. Just watching him just like evaporate after the SP3 was amazing. So I really suggest you bring Guardian because you're going to be taking a lot of block damage. And I, if you want to, you can bring his normal bleed attack increase synergies like Black Panther Civil War and all that. Uh, I had Darkhawk. I don't know if he can one-shot the health pool without Darkhawk, so I would have him on there just to be safe. And then we have Omega Red. So... I would really suggest bringing Heimdall because I almost died with Hawkeye, but I was saved by Heimdall, so I really suggest it because Icarus is pretty annoying. And yeah, moving on. Uh, Kingpin. Pretty straightforward. Uh, you can bring Hercules if you want to do the SP1 rotation, but I don't really suggest it. I say just do the SP3 and hope that he doesn't purify any of the bleeds and it's just game over. And then we have Mordo. Uh, Mordo is one of the easier fights, surprisingly, for Hawkeye. So, I don't suggest bringing Hercules unless you're really confident with Hawkeye. Um, it'll add a lot of damage, but it'll also add a lot of spite. So, if you know what you're doing, then yeah, bring Hercules. But if not, don't bring Hercules. Make it an easier fight for you. Uh, Hawkeye is a really strong counter to Mordo with the power control and the slow. So yeah, a really straightforward fight there. And then we have the champion. So this is the first fight where Tiger Synergy is actually needed. Um, the Poison Arrows, will they will reduce the healing of the champion, and they will just absolutely wipe him. <laughs> um, this is a really fun fight with Hawkeye because one SV3 and it's just over. Um, so yeah, really, I suggest you bring Tigra. If you want to ensure the one shot, I really suggest bringing Darkhawk as well. And yeah, moving on to 6.3, we have Medusa. Usually this girl is a really strong, I mean, this woman is a really strong roadblock. But for Hawkeye, it's like the easiest fight for him. Uh, just, you don't need anything at all. And then we have Nick Fury. So... Nick Fury was kind of annoying for me. Uh, I just suggest bringing White Magneto, but if not, it's just a simple fight. It's, it's Nick Fury. One tip I have is strike into his block so you can get that zero damage bleed on you, and it's just free willpower. And then we have the Havoc fight. The Havoc fight was my second favorite fight because, like, when you think about it, you would be like, oh yeah, Hawkeye cannot take this fight at all. He will get absolutely obliterated by Havoc. But nope. 1 SP3 and the fight's done. So I suggest bringing Darkhawk uh, and Black Panther Civil War so you can ensure the one shot. But other than that, really simple fight. Just be careful with his detonations and all that. And then we have Iron Man Infinity War. So you can play around him uh, with the bleed arrows, but I really suggest switching your DPS to poison with Tigra. Uh, that's because... 
Iron Man Infinity War cannot go immune to poison, unlike his, unlike bleed, or he or he can go immune to that. So I would just suggest switching your DPS to poison with Tigra, and it's a really simple fight with Tigra synergy, because he just like one shots, <laughs> he one shots in one SP three. It's really easy. Well, it's easy enough, cause. You bypass the 15% phase, which is like the hardest phase of Iron Man Infinity War. And yeah, really strong counter to Iron Man Infinity War in my opinion. And then we have Mysterio. I suggest bringing Nick Fury synergy here so you can get the poison immunity. Uh, if you don't, you'll really have to get lucky. But it's a really simple fight. Like one of the hardest Act 6 bosses turned into a joke with Hawkeye. Because... You bait three SP1s, you launch your SP3, and the fight's over. It's a really fun time with Hawkeye. And then we have the infamous Cap Infinity War. The absolute run-ender for so many players. And Hawkeye just strongly counters him. I suggest bringing Hercules, and I suggest bringing Odin. Odin is for the destructive feedback node. If you do get clipped and you get the damage reflected... You only take 18% of the damage. Or 15% if it's a 6 star Odin. So, And Hercules just adds a lot of damage. And I suggest bringing Hercules because it's a pretty long fight. But that's not Hawkeye's fault. That's just the poor design of the fight's fault. And then we have 6.4. Uh, Iceman, really simple fight. Just bring Nick Fury and Iron Man Infinity War so you can shrug the cold snap. And other than that, it's just a really simple fight. And then we have Thor Ragnarok. So Thor Ragnarok is a damage check, basically. just You can just have fun, do whatever rotation you like. I just brought as much damage as possible so I don't have to deal with any of his, you know, Boon of the God stuff and all that. And then we have Darkhawk. Darkhawk was almost a run-ender, in all honesty. Uh, because I didn't bring Guardian at first, so I would just get mauled by the block damage. <laughs> But Guardian really helps. I think he's honestly required to do this fight with Hawkeye. Um, so yeah, Guardian really recommended. And other than that, it's a really, really tough fight. It's really a test of skill. Uh, you have to be able to parry his projectiles like perfectly. So he can really slip up there. But other than that, pretty decent fight. And then we have Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel, just like Thor Ragnarok, gets a damage check and do whatever rotation you want. Nothing difficult about her. Just bring some damage so you don't have to deal with any, like, the close encounter stuff and all that. And then we have the Hydra Adaptoid. This fight was really fun because Hawkeye just <laughs> absolutely counters him. Um, I suggest you bring White Magneto. But if you can't bring White Magneto, I suggest bringing Diablo. Because he can pause the slow debuffs with Diablo. And that really helps given that the Hydra Adaptoid has Limber. So yeah, really, really strong synergy there for that fight specifically. And then we have the Grandmaster. Nothing needed at all for the Grandmaster. Just a really, really strong test of skill and experience. So just practice the fight and you can do it with anyone. And uh, yeah, I think that's all the bosses, right? All 24? Yep. Yep.